Who's on the title screen? Um, I've just got password highlighted. So who is that? Cronin? Oh, this is Ham's here. I got the best oh. ID ever. Okay, so I was right. Yeah, I think you were right. I saw oh. bottom left. I got the best ID ever. Oh, okay, well, so, right so, yeah. you, so you were right. So, yeah, I think yeah. you got it right. I'm going to password, and I'm hey, going to input that... my nickname. Does it, look... Does it look any better, my stream? Trying to do some like fast to be able to check. But... Yeah, everybody goes. Looks a little better. Actually, yeah. I don't know what that is. It's so weird. I show zero drop frames. Am I properly labeled? Sure, someone isn't. Uh, but I could be wrong. Cronin, what's your screen? The screen is on a level normal. It still looks like it's dropping frames. Yeah, it is. Um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Is it just the DJ and the Dash one account, account, maybe? Uh, I've had trouble with so. Mixer before. Okay, so yeah. Um, The ball, no. Jovis. A little bit, a little bit. You, 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 you. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna Sorry. tell you how to watch it. Don't worry. Yeah, no. I mean, I've... I'm not seeing Jovis on DJ Dash. Oh, oh, that's a video game. Hello. <laughs> do, do, do you need some privacy, man? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, we can shit. all leave the room. Oh, I see what you mean, Milk. <laughs> this is now a Chubbis only stream. Good luck, Chubbis. <laughs> I got this. Does it look smoother at least? Uh, for now. For now, yeah, now we start. <laughs> I mean, we're live on Twitch, I can just fucking unmute it. I'm gonna put my splits up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure everything's synced. Alright, we good, we good. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't ever have any problems. This is good. I mean, you want your splits up, you put your splits up. That's just whatever. <laughs> You, you really think you're gonna work right. record in front of everybody? I mean, that's fine with me. <laughs> All right. Um, this, this is the best it's getting, hundred percent. Okay. Is it still choppy? Uh, it doesn't seem to be. It seems to be good. Okay. So what what link should I be looking at for choppiness? Right. Um. Do you have VLC Media Player? Uh, I use MPV, I'm using MPV for all of them, so the URL is fine, I'm using Streamlink with it, so just give me the URL or the RTMP server or whatever. Okay, your S voice should be good. Uh, that's it. Okay. Just and then you tell me when you're good, then I'll press start the timer and we'll play video games, I guess. <laughs> video games! Yay! So should we all be ready on this, the title screen? Uh, should be ready on something. Hopefully your names are right. Uh, everybody, right everybody, right everybody right. put in your name. Oh wait, oh you did? You did? You did? <laughs> what, what smart lads. <laughs> I, I almost typed out fuck, but you know. That's, that's okay, you can type out whatever you want as long as you don't get us banned, lad. Oh, wait, where are we typing this? Do you want us to put a text box on the stream? 
I want you to start the timer. Thank God we're ahead. Password error, man, you're really slacking. You're really slacking, uh, TQ underscore QLEX. Yeah. All right, ready? Go. I mean, what? what? <laughs> Can you see the stream? That's voice. Uh... Ow. Hang on. This better be the best damn Genesis game I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, some, for some reason, that uh, link, that server you gave me is only giving me audio. I uh, just give it a second. It's probably because it's the latency. It's just like a private server. It's not like a big thing. So it's coming from America all the way to your island. <laughs> I mean, we're Chubbis, all on if you island. don't win, you have to eat a sock. Yeah, that's what Shintok said. Wait, what? Okay, here we go. If I don't win, what about a sock? You have to be. <laughs> has to be a new sock. Confuse him some more. <laughs> I guess we want to shin talk shot socks. Shin talk shocks. Oh no. Shin talk has big feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> right, I, I think. It's actually not that big. <laughs> Chubbis, looking at your avatar, you don't seem to be doing too well. Are you sure you're okay? Listen, that's healthy. <laughs> okay. Are we good to go? I'm good. I think so. Give me a count then, whenever. <laughs> Um, okay, um, I will count down then, uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. And welcome everybody, this is Rista. Um, so, um, the first thing you'll notice is that, uh, this is a very colourful game. It's a platform game that was released near the end of the Genesis Life Cycle in 1995. Um, and the aim of the game is to defeat Greedy. He has terrorized the leaders of the planets in the Veldi system. And uh, your job as a star is to, um, is to actually relieve them of the, their, their sort of possession by Greedy and then defeat Greedy himself. Um, so, uh, one of the things that you will notice is that they are using poles to swing around and uh, skip uh, parts of the level. This is a legit part of the game, but you can use them in ways that uh, the game designer did not intend you to use them. And we'll be seeing a little bit of that. One of these things is um, actually cancelling the um, movement to actually get further. Um, we're on to Flora 2 now. Uh, there are six worlds and Flora is the first world. So uh, Flora 2 is one of the more technical levels. Um, and, uh, well, actually, sorry, I was ahead a bit in my notes. But yeah, there's log skip in this uh, level, which is a special uh, star pole swing, which Logan allows... Um, a good log skip. Yes, um, basically, uh, if you can do it perfectly, you can actually get on top of that tree. Uh, it looks like uh, I don't think anybody actually did that.
Yeah, I mean, uh, so, uh, this yeah, will be water level one. and such, and but, uh, say, but no, uh, this uh, actually level. swims pretty uh, well, and, uh, water world in and fact, if you can uh, do it is, just right, you uh, can, quite, uh, quite do, good in this game, you can actually. swim really quickly, a lot of platforms, um, you don't uh, really it does take a little bit more, but, uh, yeah, practice, I mean, uh, but you, you can do yeah, it. Water levels um, and such. The but, uh, mid boss in this level um, no, is um, composed well. of three and, um, In fact, if you can uh, do it just right, you can uh, do. You can swim really quickly. Um, uh, it does take a little bit more. Uh, uh, practice, but you, you can do it. Um, the um, mid boss in this level um, is um, composed of three rays, um, and uh, um, basically, uh, you've got, got three enemies that come down in each ray. First one, you've got a uh, more than one of you turn your audio on. And the uh, oblets are these small enemies that kind of like Goombas in the game. Um, the second wave has a uh, three fish, and the third wave has three electric oblets. And uh, you want the third wave to go as right the as you Most of the rooms have you killing the spawners, can. which are the blue. Uh, so uh, basically, so facing them. Um, that three of them to have a squid mama fight, to to we call them, where you have to kill the three baby squid like and then let the mama squid appear. You've got um, yeah, the frozen it looks sea like we uh, uh, have where the intended strat is that you're supposed to. Uh, Wait in the water as the water level rises um, and defeat the uh, seahorses that way. But we just uh, go up the wall so that it's uh, a little bit quicker. Oh, I, I should, should have mentioned them. Um, I'm Sophie, by the way. I also won this game. Um, but yes, um, you've um, the um, uh, actually one of the more technical levels in the game. Uh, partially because of these swimming and partially because uh, all the different things that you have to remember to actually beat this level. Um, so it looks like um, uh, Chabas is first followed by uh, Klex, it looks like. Uh, of course. Uh -huh. yeah, then then oh, Scarum yeah. and then Cronin. Um so um, the boss of this world is called Oset, and he's the most R&D heavy boss in the game. Uh, the first two attacks are completely predictable. Um, the rest are not. He has two types of attacks, one where he appears in the foreground, um, and um, the other attacks, he appears in the background. Um, and uh, you can defeat Oset when he appears in the foreground, um, in most cases, but not in the background. Um, so this you can lose up to 30 seconds. So the order that I just said at just then uh, could be totally, completely turned upside down. Um, however, it does look like Chubbus got a good outset. So oh yeah, um, yeah, really, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, it had to be luck. Of all things. Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, <laughs> looks like Scram and Klex are going to complete at about the same time. Um, so, uh, Chavis is on Scotch Run, and this has a few different uh, techniques that you can do. Uh, you've got what are called cage pushes, where uh, you actually jump at the right point to get the cage to push you to the right. Uh, you can get a little bit of uh, time gained on that buzzard if you actually manage to get to the platform correctly. And then this pole swing, uh, where uh, if you do it right, you can get really far in the level. Um, so that can also determine quite a lot of uh, how 
things go. It looks like uh, Clex actually got the buzzard uh, platform move, so that's uh, pretty cool. Um, boss of this uh, world is a memory boss. Uh, you have three phases, um, and uh, in the first phase you have uh, four orbits. You have to remember which order they come out. Um, it actually shows you the numbers there, which makes it easier. But on the second and third phases, it gets faster and it does not show you the numbers. And it also goes to five and six orbits, respectively. So it, it gets a bit harder and you actually have to remember stuff. Uh, there are good patterns for the um, memory boss if you can get them, um, but unfortunately it is completely RNG, so uh, uh, you can't really uh, affect it unless you're a Taz. Um, but yeah, um, the um, looks like everybody else is doing pretty well. Um, Chabas is on to Scotch 2 where um, you've got three pole swings and these are actually pretty difficult to uh, get or correct. Um, if you do them right, you can actually save a lot of time. Um, it looks like, oh, Chabas did not quite get the third pole swing quite right. Um, and again, it looks like uh, you, you can actually go from the third pole up straight to the exit of the level, but unfortunately it doesn't look like uh, Chibbles managed to do that. Um, I think Cronin had a, uh, an issue with the memory boss, I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, this boss that Chibbles is on is called Adahan and he has two phases which repeat twice. The first phase is he will attack you from the sides, either on the ground or on or in the air. The second phase is a falling phase where you have to hit him once and then it repeats. Now the um, phase where he attacks you, it's best to um, do it on the ground if you can. Uh, again, this is RNG. But if he's in the air, then it's maybe two seconds or so slower. Um, and the falling sections, you have to predict which oh, way God. he's going to fall, which is unfortunately completely RNG. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is another boss that people can spend quite a lot of time on. Um, it's like uh, Chubba says... Uh, made uh, this and we'll be on to Sonata 1 um, and it three like... I got three air patterns from Adahan I'm sorry oh, no. <laughs> that's not good yeah like I say with Never air had pattern, that happen. they're two seconds slower so that is uh, well I don't know if it's two seconds but it's about around about that um, Okay, so Chubbus is on to Sonata 1, and this run is basically an escort mission with these metronomes, and you have to throw them at birds. I don't know, I didn't write this game. Uh, but uh, basically, um, if you can do the first part uh, right, then you can actually get what we call God Cycle, uh, which is basically... Uh, you don't have to wait. Uh, <laughs> it's basically a very humble way of saying that you're... Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't... Sorry if that's I shouldn't have said that. That's true. Um, but yes, um, so uh, that's the first difficult uh, trick in Sonata 1. The second one is uh, coming up for Travis, and that is the uh, pole skip. Uh, we call it or Sonata Pole or whatever and basically you have to uh, grab this uh, metronome as you're heading up and that skips about a 20 second <laughs> part of the level um, so uh, it looks like Chavis is uh, having some trouble with this so. I did something oh. crazy fourth try uh, I think I missed that uh, so, right. uh, um, but yes, um, 
and the uh, boss of this uh, level. I should point out that there are bosses on the level one and the uh, final level of each world. And this boss is uh, a bird uh, head boss where you actually have to uh, uh, basically hit each bird head three times when they come down. Uh, now you will notice that for Chubbus, Clex and Skaram, uh, the boss heads will actually have music notes that actually appear on top of their heads. Uh, but Cronoon will not have that, and that's because Cronoon is actually running the US version of the game. And uh, for some reason, they decided to make the US version more difficult and uh, not actually show you which heads are coming down. Um, it, but yeah. Um, so uh, Chappas is on to uh, Sonata 2. Uh, this uh, basically, you've got. Um, several different routes in this uh, level. Um, it looks like uh, Chubbus is going for the ballerina routes um, where you actually have to um, get past a few uh, what we call ballerinas. Um, I'm actually going to do ballerinas um, as well. Okay, okay, so I, I guess we're probably all going to do ballerinas then. Um, but, um, and the last part of this level that Chubbus is doing, uh, you've also got two routes, and it looks like uh, Chubbus was a little bit slower there, um, which is unfortunate because uh, uh, he could actually have gone faster in the top route there, but uh, it is faster if you can get the bottom right, it's just riskier. Um, and um, also these drums in the level will bounce you up. Um, and it's a bit difficult to deal with. Uh, this boss that Chubbus is in is called Arek. Um, and uh, as a casual player, it is really quite difficult to deal with. Uh, as when you actually hit the pillar, um, you're knocked back into the middle of the action. Um, but as a speedrunner, all you have to actually do is um, face left when you hit the pillar by grabbing up and sort of grabbing that, grabbing right, and um, that will throw you back, but it will throw you back into the pillar, so you stay at exactly the same place. Um, that's Clex onto Arik, oh, Cle on, onto Arik, and it looks like Scaram was there before Clex as well, so I missed that. Um, and um, yeah, um, the Chubbus uh, has completed Arak and uh, the next uh, next world is Freon, um, and uh, Freon has two. Freon one has two interesting mechanics. Uh, the first one is a crystal, which kind of gives you star modes like from the pulse rings instantly, um, and um, as again you cancel the uh, star mode to actually go a little bit faster. Um, and the sec second main part of this level, other than the platforms, is the mid-boss here, which will be a snowball fight. Um, and um, this snowball fight, you actually have two different moves that you can do. Um, you can do a fast snowball, if, if it's something like a four-frame window or something. Um, where if you do it right, you can actually do a snowball, which uh, uh, will uh, hit the hit him as uh, a guaranteed hit. Um, or you can also do a normal snowball, which um, is um, uh, obviously not a guaranteed hit and uh, is as slow as well. Sorry, that was probably pretty obvious. Um, but yeah, if, if uh, my um, if my calculation is correct, I think the fast is uh, two frames, uh, which is pretty difficult. Right. Okay. Okay. My, my, mis my mistake then. Yeah, okay. Travis did not get a good novel fight there. Mm -hmm. uh, so but, okay. Uh, good to know. Still winning at the moment, but uh, so it looks like uh, Cronin's finished our wreck and we'll be on to three on one. Um. Well, Chubbus is on three on two, and this is. I can't believe that. I cannot believe uh, it. 
What happened? Um, <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Oh, nothing. right. I see. I see. Okay. Nothing happened. Um, no, I did okay, not die no. to snowball. I did not nothing die. No, that is a lie. And Chabus didn't die either. Don't I? So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you yes, uh, Chabus is on uh, five two, uh, three on two. I've never died like that before. Never okay. happened before. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, finally. So, um, so uh, this is uh, basically uh, you can actually uh, go past the ice blocks in here uh, by just going up to the side of them and um, and uh, squeezing through uh, and it looks like Travis is still ahead but uh, Skoram is actually uh, catching up uh, so um, this uh, bit is the ice slopes and um, you can actually um, get quicker on the ice slopes by grabbing in the middle of them rather than having to go all the way to the end. Um, so uh, uh, you'll probably see all the runners do that. Um, this uh, next boss is Itamore. This is the Freon boss. And um, Itamore, uh, basically you feed him spicy food. And uh, you'll notice that on the uh, Chavez um, and Klex's uh, views, um, Itamore is a giant cat. Um, and on Cronin's, it will be a giant ice monster instead. Uh, this is because um, there is a Japanese word, uh, Nekojita, which uh, means cat tongue. And it's basically a metaphor um, for if you don't like spicy food. Um, but uh, because someone has to take these things literally, cat tongue, uh, the boss of this world is a giant cat who doesn't like spicy food, so that's how you defeat him. Um, they decided that Americans probably wouldn't get that reference, so it was changed to a giant ice monster instead. Um, and uh, Itamar has a few different attacks, but it's, it's predetermined, so uh, as long as you actually know the pattern, uh, you'll, you can get through it. Yeah, the good thing the good thing about this game is that it, it becomes very deterministic towards the end. So aside yes. from that, really the yeah. the main randomness in the game only happens in the first half of the game. Yes, this is true. I mean the boss of the next world is entirely deterministic, but we'll get to that when the, when that happens. Uh so it looks like uh Kronun is just coming up to uh each more now um so you'll be able to see the giant ice monster there rather than the cat well uh, chavez is on to automaton run uh automaton sixth world and um first things first you've got this uh grid of uh lines that actually uh change every time you hit the grab button and uh then you've got what we call automaton skip which basically is you're trying to convince the game to actually uh, make you go the wrong way through a spiked wall. Um, and um, this can take a lot of time to get right. Um, you can save, you can uh, lose a lot of time to that. Uh, looks like Chubb's got a, an okay uh, automaton skip. Um, uh, Scaram got it a bit quicker. Um, so uh, Scaram actually nubbed a little bit there. Um, the uh, boss of this level we call um, Commander Hat, and Commander Hat has four different attacks, but he actually does the uh, fourth, the first one again as the fifth one. So, so he actually okay. attacks five times, but there are only four different attacks. And um, the slowest one is the V formation. Um, well, all the others are pretty. Uh, fairly quick. Um, uh, the circle is difficult to deal with, though. Um, <coughs> so that's Kronun uh, finishing up on uh, Itamo and uh, has uh, going to Automaton run now. Um, and 
Tevis is on to Automaton 2. Now this is like Undertow 2 in that you have a few separate rooms that uh, you have to do different tasks in. Um, most of them involve putting these crystals into the receptacles at the end, but not all of them. Uh, sometimes with this uh, elevator room, for example, you just have to uh, get to the ele to the end, the end teleporter. Uh, the elevators are uh, dealt with by, uh, if you hit them on the left hand side, they go left and right. If you hit them on the uh, right hand side, they go up and down, um, which is it's not well explained at all. In fact, I don't think it's explained anywhere. Uh, so you just have to actually work that out by yourself when you start playing the game. Um, the, um, the, uh, Sorry, I lost track a little bit there. Um, but yes, um, the uh, multiple elevator rooms that uh, each other is in right now has um, two different strats to it. Um, it looks like Chavis went for the uh, lid strat uh, and uh, didn't quite pull it off properly. Um, uh, and uh, But yeah, uh, the lid strat is possibly about um, maybe 0.2 of a second faster than the other strat, which is commonly attributed to me, but I didn't actually make the strat. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, Got the lid strat. Okay, you will see. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, I resent that. I did not cheat. Awesome. Nice. I, I have the turbo buttons. I just smashed fast, okay? Right, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, Skiram didn't uh, do terribly well on the list chart, unfortunately, but yeah. Um, however, it looks like um, Travis is uh, coming up to almost the last room now. Uh, he's got three more rooms to go. And uh, then he'll be on to earn him. Uh, which is the boss of this game. Well, of, not of this game, of this world, I mean. And um, the um, Urnim, like I say, is entirely deterministic. Uh, of all, he does look random. He, uh, he tosses uh, screws at you, giant screws, for some reason. And... Uh, and uh, he likes to jump as well, so... The ideal strat is for him not to jump at all um, because that actually loses a little bit of time. And then um, you actually um, use the collision detection to actually um, go into the middle and uh, do up grabs. Uh, and uh, because you get iframes after a successful grab that aren't actually shown. Uh, you can actually stay there without taking any any damage, uh, so that's good. Uh, so it looks like uh, three of our runners are on to Urnim. The uh, Kronun is nearly at the end of uh, Automaton 2. Um, and uh, Chavos will be going on to the final world. Uh, now the final world is a uh, vertical there's a short vertical section followed by two uh, two bosses, and uh, the vertical section uh, is uh, faster to actually um, go up the right hand side of the of the first part rather than going to the left and using the ladder. Um, but you then go through the rest of the room as uh, as per as per intended. Um, the um, the next the boss of this the second to last boss is called Iba and uh, here it we use a lot of what we call recoil cancelling which has also been used a lot in the run generally. Basically when you grab something the game will uh, try to toss you back. Um, but uh, if you actually uh, grab uh, in the middle of being tossed back, then uh, the game will cancel that recoil and actually allow you to move faster. And I use that a lot on this boss, so you see grabbing right and then down right over and over again. 
Um, and uh, that is basically the easiest way to actually defeat this boss. Um, and then Chubbus is on to the final boss, uh, Greedy. Um, I'm not cheating. Greedy, <coughs> Greedy has three stages. Um, the orb phase, uh, where he uh, he shoots five orbs out at you and then they change positions randomly. So you have to um, hit each one. Uh, the second phase, uh, Greedy will fly about again randomly. And uh, whenever you hit him, he drops two oblets, which you actually have to clean up. Uh, and But you don't have to. It's fast not to. And then the third phase, and time will be coming up for Chubbus, so I'm going to let him call time. And time. Okay. Not really. 2057, I think? Sub 29. Woo! Nice. Uh, what the death? Good job. Uh, Chavos is the world record holder and at 27.58. Uh, so we've got Skaram and Klex coming into Greedy. Uh, and uh, Skaram is yes. on to the second phase. Um, and it looks like uh, Kronun actually uh, is just going to come into Ibar. Uh, but uh, oh, Skaram actually got a bad... Uh, bad... Uh, uh, Oblet shooting greedy there in the second phase. That slows you down quite a bit. So flex is coming on time. Time. Okay. Did time. I beat the uh, five? Yes, sub thirty. Did I beat the no. uh, harem? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, in fact, Scarn just died on greedy, unfortunately. I so, beat the master. Oh, wow, damn. Yeah. Oh. So. Uh, um, is having to do greedy again. Uh, this uh, happens a lot if you don't actually clean up your oblets. Um, <laughs> clean so, your uh, orb orblets, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Do. Yeah, Good because whenever you hit uh, greedy, he will drop two oblets in the second phase. Also, he sometimes goes into this phase where he actually shoots a bunch of oblets at you, and uh, that is really not a good thing because uh, it slows you down quite a lot. Um, but it looks like Scam's in the third phase, so coming up on time for Scam. Mm -hmm. Time. Okay. GJ. Nice. Uh, and that's Cronin uh, doing uh, greedy. Uh, so... Uh, See how uh, Cronin is actually doing. Cronin got a uh, another bad oblet throwing, uh, greedy. Um, but it looks like Cronin actually did a did a fairly good job of catching up. So uh, that's good. Um, so we'll be coming up to his uh, third phase shortly. There we go, third phase, so coming up on time for Kronun. Okay. GG boys. Yeah. GG. GG all. Congratulations for your bad time, Kronun. <laughs> <laughs> I was rooting for Kronun, I won't lie to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so was I, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It was fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah thank, you. Th 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 thank you very much. It's that was that was the best four-way restart race I've ever seen on DJ and Dash before. <laughs> <laughs> At four in the morning. Wow, yeah. it keeps getting more. Many more to come. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hope you have a great day at work. Yes, I just yeah. woke up. Oh man, the credits in this game, they're so good. Yeah, credits are great. I imagine uh, Chubbus is already past the credit screen. Oh, man, Chubbus already went to sleep. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I love you. We, we all love everybody here. I'm we love crying. you, Chubbus. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really... Right, let's, let's go to sleep, everybody. Yeah, that's probably a good idea.
Thanks for uh, thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having <laughs> but us. Ser awesome. But seriously, go to sleep. <laughs> God bless America. Amen. Exactly. I'm in France. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm saluting right now. <laughs>